They are known as the big four of the accounting world for a reason. They continue to be the auditors for the six out of every 10 of the top 500 listed firms in India. Even after regulatory actions on the firms, after a number of scams, the big four, Ernest & Young, Deloitte, KPMG and PricewaterhouseCoopers dominate the audit space, handling 26% of the total assignments between them, although the number is down from the previous year of 28%. On account of Grant Thornton rising up to enter the Big Four by replacing the PricewaterhouseCoopers, and they might start to call themselves the Big Five, just to accommodate Grant Thornton. But the dominance of the Big Four has triggered concerns globally, with the financial world feeling that the auditing world can become much more resilient by breaking down their monopoly. But even after regulatory actions on the firms, after a number of scams based on their crooked auditing, the Big Four, EY, Deloitte, KPMG, and PwC dominate the audit space. Even after audit rotation, these top MNCs continue to maintain their lead over Indian firms. Mostly, the top companies find comfort in those top audit firms. In the Nifty 500 subset, they handle 283 of the 500 top companies that translates into roughly 57% of the NSE subset. Globally, their clients include such powerhouses as Buckshaw Hathaway, Ford Motor Company, Apple, ExxonMobil and Amazon. According to a report in 2018 by CFA Institute, 30% of the S&P 500 were audited by PwC, 31 by EY, 20% by Deloitte, and 19% by KPMG. Deloitte reported the highest global revenue with $47 billion, followed by PwC at $43 billion, followed by Ernest & Young at number three at $37 billion, and KPMG with $30 billion. Globally, PricewaterhouseCoopers is gaining huge ground. However, in India, PwC is the biggest loser among the big four, but globally, it reigns. PwC is the biggest loser because after more than a decade, a professional services firm, Grant Thornton, has managed to break the stronghold of the big four in the ranking of number of listed companies audited. With Grant Thornton closely piping, PwC to capture the fourth position after KPMG, EY and Deloitte taking the first three. Actually, PwC had to resign from a slew of account over the past few months, bringing down its listed audited numbers, while at the same time, Grant Thornton benefited from it. By the way, Grant Thornton operates in India through Walker and Chandok and Company. So you might not find the name of the Grant Thornton in the list, but it's there under the name of Walker and Chandok. In India, these firms operate through a network of affiliates in accordance with the regulations set by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. Section 139, subclause 2 of the New Companies Act 2013 says, all public and designated private companies, with a few exceptions, will have to mandatorily change their audit firms after two terms of five years each. The auditors have to be given a break of five years after two consecutive tenures. This was done post Satyam scam. To clean up. So after the audit rotation, KPMG emerged as the top auditor in India. Former leader Deloitte dropped to number three after losing more than 300 clients in audit rotation, while EY maintained its status quo at number two. Deloitte was India's audit market leader for years, working for top companies such as Tata's and Mahindra's until the government mandated an audit rotation, forcing it to exit from hundreds of companies in a matter of two years. However, the company managed to replace most of the clients with the new wins. PwC, once a powerhouse in Indian auditing space, is fighting a court battle against a market regulator order banning the firm for two years from auditing listed entities. And that uncertainty has hit its audit business in India. But all is not green for the big four. Some red flags are consistently raised on the operational aspects of the big four. The big four accountancy firms play an important role not only in accounting services they provide for global MNCs but in the wider provisions of financial services ranging from tax advice to company formation. The leaked Panama Papers of 2016 revealed the details of the thousands of anonymously owned companies across multiple jurisdictions. These included apparent PwC entities based in jurisdictions known as tax havens including the Cayman Islands, Gibraltar, Luxembourg and Mauritius. Apparent KPMG entities were found based in Ghazni, Hong Kong, Jersey, and Switzerland. 
in regard to the big four's role in the overall tax strategy of MNCs, it is the earlier LuxLeaks of November 2014 which has provided a number of clear insights. These documents showed that PwC assisted MNCs to obtain at least 548 legal but secret tax rulings in Luxembourg from 2002 to 2010. The rulings allowed MNCs to channel hundreds of billions of dollars through Luxembourg arising from economic activities that took place in other jurisdictions and with effective tax rates so low that they saved billions of dollars in taxes. Subsequent leaks showed that Deloitte, EY and KPMG had also brokered such tax rulings. Another big problem with the Big Four is that the Big Four also frequently ad provide advisors to the government on the design of tax policy, sometimes even seconding staff to draft laws and advocate publicly and privately for particular policy change nationally, internationally in fora such as the OECD. As such, they have both the expertise and influence by which they may be able to reduce the effective tax rates on their clients. The big fours are criticized for their conflict of interest as well. Biggest scams like Enron, Worldcom, Satyam scam were exposed by independent forensic accounting experts, not any of the big four. The accounting firms do not want to ask too many tough questions of their paying clients or to assiduously investigate something suspicious in their book. That would be tantamount to biting the hands that feeds you. Hence, the big four are going to rule the global auditing space with a bit of reshuffling amongst themselves. But this oligopoly has raised many questions than answers.